Every single day, I see people who have to force themselves to get up and go to a job they despise. A job that makes them feel like they're on the wrong path in life and leaves them feeling stuck, trapped, and demoralized. To make matters even worse, when they're done working, they're so tired and mentally exhausted that they don't even spend time doing things that they really enjoy doing. They get home so tired that they don't even want to cook and they just become a potato couch, which ultimately makes them feel even worse about themselves. The worst part of this story is that these people grew up believing, knowing they were put on the planet to do more. They had big goals, dreams, and aspirations, yet as their life began to unfold, the decisions they made deteriorated them from that path. They made small decisions here and there, like eating unhealthy foods, skipping the gym, going to bed late, and over time, those small decisions started to compound until one day, they woke up and realized that their life isn't what they imagined it would be. They realized they aren't who they thought they would be. And they realized they aren't even happy on a regular basis. They know they can do much better, but they don't know how to get there. The worst part of living this life is that you get left feeling like garbage that was thrown in the alley and forgotten. To make matters even worse, you hear all your friends talking about how well their life is going, and instead of being happy for them, you find that it makes you feel even more disgusted with yourself. So then you pop on social media and see even more people living these extraordinary lives where they're always traveling and having a blast. What you need to realize is that this all started because you fail to recognize how these small decisions you make affect your life. You took the short term benefit rather than thinking about the long term of your life. You told yourself that it's okay to skip on sleep. You can do that when you're dead. You told yourself that it's okay to have one more cheat meal, not even realizing you're more likely to cheat again next time. And you told yourself you can skip the gym because you've been going a lot recently. The reality is, it's all these small decisions in your everyday life that are keeping you stuck. When you start to play the short term rather than the long term, it becomes a very slippery slope. You make one decision which leads to another and another. And before you realize it, you find yourself making the wrong decisions constantly. You might even feel like something's wrong with yourself because you can't seem to do the things that will improve your life. But honestly, the pattern you find yourself in is quite normal because humans are hardwired to create habits. That's why you likely have the same morning routine, drive the same route to work, and so on. Now, when you start to make those small decisions that you know you shouldn't make, you strengthen the habit of not keeping your own word to yourself. And when you have a habit of not keeping your own word to yourself, you'll never produce the results that you want in your life. That's when you start telling yourself that you're going to start working out and eat healthier tomorrow. But when tomorrow rolls around, all that willpower and motivation you had has vanished into thin air. And you're left trying to battle against your habit of not keeping your own word to yourself. And we both know what happens then. That change you strive for never comes. That's exactly why in the new era of health, we have you acquire the mind of a conqueror. Because when you have this mentality, sticking to your word becomes effortless. And when you keep your own word to yourself, you begin to make the decisions that are best for your long term, which ultimately creates the life you want. Could you imagine how much better you would feel and how much more productive you would be if you kept your word to go to sleep early every night? Could you imagine what your body would look like if you kept your word to work out and eat healthier from last year? And could you imagine how much better your life would be if you kept your word to ask out the cute girl you had a crush on? Instead of staying at home watching TV every night, you could have spent that time with your dream girl. At least you could have if you kept your word to ask her out. Do you know what the number one thing is that people forget as they get older? It's that they let their potential rot away and didn't chase after their ambitions in life. You could go ask any elderly person for life advice and what do you think they're going to talk about? They're going to teach you through their mistakes. They're going to tell you what they regret so that you don't make the same mistakes as them. 
So right now, you have two choices. You can keep choosing to play the short term game and be left with the same exact life you have. Or you can discover how to stick to your own word and watch your dream life unfold right in front of you.